Hello there, and welcome to another edition of Randy's Wellness TV here on TorontoTV.org. I'm your host, Randy Rowett. A pleasure to be here with you tonight. And we have two guests tonight on our show. The first one is Mark Liebert. How are you today, Mark? I'm great, Randy. Thank you. Uh, nice to talk to you. And uh, Catherine will be here also. Catherine Cates, she's an esthetician, and she will be on the second portion of our show. Now we're into some nice spring weather, Finally. and that brings up our topic, which is fitness. Right. So tell us about your company. What's it called? Well, I, I actually yeah. have two companies, okay. Fuel Fitness Clubs in Mississauga. Yes. It's a gym that uh, I own with some partners. Yes. And I have another company, Liebert Fitness Inc., and we have fitness equipment. Interesting name, Fuel Fitness. Fuel, yeah, it's yeah. a great name. Yeah. I could use some of that fuel in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So tell us, how long have you been in the fitness business? Uh, I've been a full-time personal trainer for over 10 years. Okay. Uh, I've been in the fitness business for about 12 to 15 years. Okay, and where did yeah. you study? Uh, I went to uh, college first, then I worked. I went to uh, University of Guelph. Okay. And from there, I went straight into uh, working at a club. Wow, and Fuel Fitness, and, and where's that located? Uh, fuel Fitness is on Dixie Road. Okay. 4500 Dixie Road in Mississauga. In Mississauga, yes. Now you have a variety of programs available at Fuel Fitness yep. and one of them con is concentrated on something called the Equalizer. The equalizer. Am I terming that right? The Equalizer? Yep, that's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> and, w and what does that involve? Uh, the Equalizer is a strength training tool that I developed about two years ago and brought to market and mm -hmm. now it's uh, very popular in the gym business uh, doing classes and originally developed and designed to, to work people out at home and now it's evolved into something we can work out at the gym in a, in a group environment so get more people involved. Yes, and motivation is always a, a thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's always a thing in, in our yeah. hectic lifestyles get motivated. Some people may, some people may uh, join a health club or something like that and then they drive four miles after work and they get demotivated because they don't want to take that extra time right. or they don't have somebody to work out with and that right. helps too. But yeah. Fuel Fitness has a different concept, does it not? Um, well, we do in that. In terms uh, of helping people. Uh, well, we're a smaller it. club. Yes. And yeah. that alone, you just get to know people. And when you get to know them, you can call them up, say, Where have you been this week? And, mm -hmm. and you don't get that too many clubs. Uh, the variety of programs that we have uh, 40 classes a week. So that really keeps people motivated with the variety. And, you know, working out in a group does, uh, does make a difference. Yes. Now, in today's society, you see all kinds of people that, and obesity is, str is a strong factor, of course. Diet, lifestyle issues, and, and people not getting enough exercise, and environmental pollutants, the whole bit. Yeah. But in today's society, some people just do not get enough exercise. Right. They do not burn fat or, or it can become aerobically strong, strong sure. or anything like that. Yeah. In fact, some people, have you ever been to a parking lot? You ever been to a parking lot on the, uh, you ever been to a parking lot on a long weekend? Yeah. Or a holiday? And everybody wants those two spots. There's two spots in front of the front door, yeah. and they want those two we'll spots. Drive endlessly to get them. They yeah, heaven forbid they should <laughs> like walk ten feet. I mean, yeah. if they were challenged or had a medical thing, that's different. Sure. But people just get so lazy they yeah. don't want to walk. And in fact, if you give them a chance, they drive right into the mall, wouldn't they? <laughs> you give them a right chance. That's what they do. Yeah. So uh, fitness is really on the minds of, in our in our society too to lower the cost of uh, healthcare, universal healthcare, right. and, and fitness yeah. clubs are the way to go. One way to go, sure, yes. sure, yeah. So tell us about some of the different programs at, uh, what are some of the different programs? Uh, well, at Fuel Fitness we have the yeah. traditional aerobics programs, mm -hmm. very popular, very high energy. Uh, then we have new and exciting programs like the Equalizer, Boxing, right. Taekwondo. And uh, we like to be well balanced and have a little bit of everything. So we have yoga and Pilates, um, we even uh, do meditation with clients. Mm -hmm. So we like to have a little <coughs> bit of everything. Now Pilates is certainly a, a growing trend mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people have uh, really uh, attest to the ability uh, not only to relax, but to really get in tune with their body and in shape. Mm -hmm. yeah, what, other, what, what are the other ones again? Uh, yoga. Yoga, yes. Yoga is yes. great. Meditation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yoga, meditation, Pilates. Mm -hmm. um, classes like the Equalizer are great because, you know, people, like you said, are, are limited for time. Mm -hmm. Get in and out. Half an hour strength training is all you need. There's yeah. a big misconception. You have to be in there for hours. You don't. I will never forget the name of the Equalizer. It was my favorite <laughs> TV show back in the back oh, of the yeah. day. It was That's my favorite right. show, yes. Yeah. Um, Funny. So, so, in terms of getting on track, it takes a commitment. Mm -hmm. It takes dedication for people to actually put their health needs first. Mm -hmm. How long is a program, the average program at uh, Fuel Fitness? Uh, you know, y you can't push it. Y you yeah. need to get time to uh, uh, get accustomed to exercise, build a habit. Six months would be the minimum. Give yourself six months of, of, of dedication to your <coughs> club and your trainer and to yourself and then you'll start to uh, notice a difference. Now you have one-on-one -on -one training right? and you have class yeah. as well. That's right, yeah. And what's the benefit of each? 
the one-on-one -on -one training would be uh, obviously much more personal. Uh, you get to sit with personal a client. Training. Yeah, personal training. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we also do small groups as well. I'll train two, three people at a time. Okay. And that you get the benefit of a, of a personal touch, but you get a little bit of group camaraderie and a little bit of, uh, you know, pushing each other. Right. Now, what about the fat loss pro pro uh, programs? Uh, anything that, um, when you when you join a club, you obviously have to do three things. You have to, you know, watch where you're eating, right. obviously. Um, cardio, so you can get that with a variety of the classes that we offer, mm -hmm. and strength training. And strength. you get that with something like the equalizer. Very okay. easy to do. Now, does that include something like resistance training? Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 And resistance training, like I said, it only takes half an hour. It's not hours in the gym. And, it, and it's actually at someone's own pace, too, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you ever see these? You ever see these things with like big balls mm -hmm. that people exercise with? I don't remember what they're. What do they call? Oh, um, stability ball or Swiss ball. Yeah, yeah. We actually have a class with them. They put their back over it. Yeah. And, and yeah. what's the benefit of that? Uh, a lot of stability. So when you're working with those balls, all the stabilizers are moving. It's a big core workout. So you're training your abs quite a bit and, and your obliques, and 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 you can also work a full body on there as well. You can do push-ups and those types of things on the balls. So a person maybe wanting to lose a few inches around their uh, their abdomen could maybe, uh, I guess, they arch back on the ball. Yeah. Well, what it does is allows you to get a better stretch in the abs. Um, that in itself won't, you know, lose the body weight around here, but it will help strengthen the abs. It is a good core conditioning class, but you have to do the strength training and you have to do the <coughs> aerobics as well. Okay. Now a popular thing also is spinning. Yeah. And, and a yeah. friend of mine is an instructor in spinning and. I was wondering, what's the concept behind that? Spinning is group exercise yeah. with bikes. So you have okay. a leader at the front, and uh, for example, I just talked to some clients and I did a class where the instructor didn't let them sit down on the seat for almost the 45 minutes. Oh. So their oh. legs are really feeling it today. Yes. Yeah, it's a great yeah. workout. And sitting there on the bike, wow, sitting down for half hour, that'd be quite strange. Well, it's good, you gotta, yeah, <laughs> it's a tough but it workout. would burn. It burns, burns a lot of calories. Spinning's an awesome class. It would, yes. And uh, how long is that mm -hmm. program usually? Uh, we run spinning classes every day, morning and night, uh, generally close to an hour. Okay. You know, you see some people, and uh, I'm not going to mention any names because we, we, we all know people, we all know somebody like this in our environment. Some people, the only exercise they get is lifting those cases of beer <laughs> and taking them back to the store. Especially a long weekend. Yeah, that's right, a long weekend. <laughs> a long weekend. Yeah, that's a very popular thing too. But you know, is it not possible for people, uh, is it not possible for people to to really benefit their own fitness. Do they really have to join a club or can they do it on their own? Uh, they can do it on their own. Like we talked about, the, the motivation's you know, usually a little stronger in a group environment. Mm -hmm. uh, but on their own, they can do it. Go out for a walk, um, get a friend and uh, uh, go bike riding, rollerblading. In the summertime, you have lots of options. Yes. And like I mentioned, you can use something like that or some free weights at home, equalizer, mm -hmm. and do your half an hour right. twice a week. And if you can do that, you'll notice a difference in a few months. In fact, a person sh should 30, 30 to 60 minutes a, a day of exercise, maybe three, four times a week, right? Mm -hmm. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, At that would be optimal. Yes. Yeah. 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 And what is your favorite type of exercise in the, as far as fuel fitness goes? What, uh, what's your favorite program for you? Uh, I have to say I, I, I enjoy to no end uh, teaching boxing and taekwondo. They're, they're awesome. my passions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And, and how, do you have a big ring there? Like for, um, uh, well, we don't. Uh, we have heavy or? bags, and yes. uh, uh, but we use the aerobics room, and we start everybody out in there. And the boxing classes are... are enormously popular because ladies at first want to do it to lose weight but then they find it's a, a lot of fun you're, you're 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 out there and it's very cathartic you know you're getting rid of some of that stress and a self-defense type horse um a not really this one's more of a fitness boxing yeah, class yeah. and we also do a little more technical boxing class okay. as well which i don't teach um the taekwondo is is um it's for sport and for conditioning but also yeah obviously self-defense okay so you created something called the equalizer right which is a little tool that you use uh, right. actually it's not little it's big yeah. <laughs> and it's actually uh, useful for a lot of uh, maybe calisthenics or something you can sure you yeah. can use that yeah. so I understand you brought some posters with yeah you I brought and, a uh, poster with me I'm not okay sure and uh, oh, here we go. we're gonna have a look at that oh, thank, thank you. you so we're gonna have a look at that yeah and maybe you could just hold that up for a camera and okay. we can, you can discuss the various yeah. first of all sh tell us about how did how is it formed the equalizer itself well, um, what I wanted to do was actually this exercise here at home. People in their homes, you can't really do chin-ups very well. Most people can. It's not safe for them to do. Right. So I developed something where you could work the back muscles. So this would be the start, and this is the finish where you're pulling yourself up and back down. So you're doing a back exercise as well. You're working the hamstrings and the bicep muscles. Okay. From there, we developed all kinds of exercises. We have dips, okay. and we have push-ups. We do one-legged squats. 
which are kind of a specialty for the equalizer, mm -hmm. and lunges and core, so you work your abs as well. And these are just uh, some plyometric type stuff that we do, jumping in and out of them. So that's good for sport conditioning classes. Okay. We actually use them in the boxing class, and this is just an isolation exercise. And no, isolation, you see yeah. the person's lifting the, uh, the bar. Right. Now, what's the benefit of that? Well, the bar itself weighs about eight pounds, so okay. it's not that heavy, but the benefit is that you're isolating some specific muscles that you want to work on. It's mainly used um, for isolation exercises as a warm-up okay. or at the end of a workout as a finisher. Now, could this one up here, uh, yep. yes, I was just going to say, it looks like a push-up. So that is a push-up. Now, is that, push is, that, is that just the same benefit as a regular push-up using this? Uh, yeah, yeah, the benefit of this is that you don't have your whole body weight down on the ground. So you're up in a little bit of a different position where the exercise itself is slightly easier. Okay. And that's great for people doing a group exercise class that just can't do push-ups. Right, and there's a lot of people that can't. Most people of, can't uh, do them yeah, properly, yeah. yeah. And this helps build up to that. I'm fortunate I can do push-ups. Excellent. Although I don't do them enough. <laughs> but uh, you see somebody dipping here, and that would actually be very good for uh, maybe the calf muscles and the leg as well. Yeah, this one's great for the leg because you get yeah. a good stretch as you dip down, but it's mainly for the back of the arms, the okay. tricep muscles. Right. So how did you decide to, you created the equalizer. Yeah. How did, how did this idea come about? Um, again, uh, I kind of wanted to get chin-ups okay. going in right. people's homes, so I just carried them in my car, and then we started doing that. Um, I brought a partner on board who's been excellent and helps me with the, the business side of things. And okay. I just develop the exercises and, and bring it to gyms, and, and it's been uh, growing well. Well, I tried to do some chin-ups around the house, but my wife wasn't too impressed <laughs> because I ended up hitting my head on the... Plasters are, can be dangerous. Cost of plaster is expensive, you know, all kinds of things. <laughs> but uh, total body strengthener, that's, really. That's it, yep. yeah. yeah, right there. And you have two of these, uh, two yep. uh, sections. Two bars, yeah. Right, and they're transportable. They're easily transportable. I can put them in my car. Uh, clients can um, okay. actually talk to a client, and he's taking them to the cottage this weekend. He just puts them behind the couch, takes wow. them out when he needs them, and then they disappear. So what's the retail cost for the equalizer? Uh, these are now $99 for the pair. You get a laminated poster okay. as well as workout programs. And on the website, we have everything that needed to know about it. And, it's and that website is? LiebertEqualizer.com. LiebertEqualizer.com. Okay. So tell us a little bit more in summary about Fuel Fitness. Uh, where do you go from here? Where do we go? Yeah. Uh, uh, membership uh, retention, we want to make sure that people come in stay in. Most yes. clubs are worried just about bringing more people in. Okay. We want people to stay, have fun, get results. That's what we're all about. Okay. So phone number where we can reach you? 905-629-3835. In Mississauga. In Mississauga. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Mark. It's a pleasure and yep. uh, thank always you, nice to find out about Appreciate all those. It. You're welcome. Always nice to find out about those interesting exercises and events. Physical fitness, a very important part of our lifestyle issue. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to be speaking to Catherine Cates, and Catherine is a well-known esthetician in the area, so stay tuned.